Okay, so this problem is mainly about uh, applying the ideas of uh, heat engines, efficiency, whatever, um, to something then that you might actually be uh, particularly interested in in your day-to-day -day life, which is how much an AC uh, will cost you. I'm sorry, that was an AC, right? <laughs> oh, refrigerator or air conditioner. Okay, so basically they, they first part, they want you to start out by converting um, the traditional co coefficient of performance to this EER. Let's see, what does EER stand for again? Energy efficiency ratio. And the big difference between K and EER is um, EER is in units of BTU per um, watt hour. So you have to um, convert them. So that's part A. So EER equals K, which has units of, um, you know, joules per joules. So it doesn't have any units, but um, it's. I think it's easiest to write it this way. And if you look in your book, you have the convert it, conversion. The goal is to get BTU per watt hour, right? So if you go into your book to get the conversion of joule to BTU, you got one, um, one joule is, or excuse me, one BTU is 10.55 joules. Oh, my fives. And then, so to convert to watt hour, you want to consider how many joules are burned for um, for something burning at one watt. So that's one joule per second for 3,600 seconds, i.e. an hour. So that's just going to be uh, 3,600. Um, oh, excuse me. To be careful with this. I get such a simple calculation, but I actually struggled a little bit um, as I as I wrote this. So yeah, so then one watt hour is actually 3,600 joules because that's how many joules you burn if you're burning at one watt, one joule per second for 3,600 seconds. Okay, so if you compute this, hopefully you get what I got. And I actually got the wrong thing at first, again, because I kind of stumbled in that um, logic. Uh, and so that's 3.141, excuse me, pi stuck in my head, um, times k. So that's how you convert it. You just do k times 3.41. And that comes in handy in the next problem. So you need to calculate the EER um, for... Was it an AC? I think it was, an, yeah, an AC. Um, that operates between 95 and 80. So it's K times 3.41. And then K, uh, if you go to the formula in the book in chapter 20, um, I think it's at the end, it just says it's K is this TC over um, TH minus TC. For, for a Carnot engine, and that's what you're assuming that your your AC is. Um, and then your T cold is 80 plus 273. So I'll write that down, TC. Right, you need to convert to Kelvin. And um, T hot is 95 plus 273. Oops, wow. What was I thinking as I wrote that? Maybe it's it's not trivial maybe to talk as I write. <laughs> okay, so 273 plus 95. And if you compute that, so stick all these numbers in here, hopefully you'll get what I got, or maybe you won't, I don't know, um, which is 80. Yeah, I'm just going like, to double check my calculations. Sometimes I get the impulse to do that. Um... Yes, it's, and it's T cold, right? I'm just going to double check the formula too while I'm at it. Yes, it is. Okay, great. My numbers ended up coming out pretty reasonable. Um, so I feel confident in it. Um, okay, so 
yeah, that's what I got. So now for part C. Uh, it's asking for an AC. It's asking for how much it costs to run an AC for a whole year that has an EER of um, 10.9. Okay, and then it's QC per year is um, 10, what was that? 1.9 times 10 to the 10. So side note, um, I ig completely ignored the fact that K was written as QC over work and both of them were divided by time. Um, probably a different way to think about it. If, if you do include that fact um, in any reasoning, but I didn't see uh, any particular reason to. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so, so our goal is to get how much um, energy is output so then we can figure out how much it costs. So you can rearrange the um, EER is 3.141 times K, um, and K is QC over um, work and to obtain that work is QC divided by E, E, R. And um, keep in mind that if we're going to use E, E, R, that has to be in units of BTU and then this has to be in units of BTU per watt hour. So then our, our work will come out in watt hours. We can easily convert. So we need to convert the heat to BTU. So we need to do that um, by dividing by 1055 joules per BTU. Um, so that would, that's like the heat that we should actually plug in. And then our EER is 10.9. So when I plug that in, I got 1.65 watt. It's like this delay. It punishes me for going fast. Times 10 to the 6 watt hour. Or maybe it's just that I decrease the pressure of the pen as I if I go fast. That's probably it. Because if I do that, yeah, I guess it pretty accurately. I don't know drew what I meant. <laughs> okay, so 1.65 watt hours. And then um, now to get the price, we need to convert it to kilowatt hours and then and then acknowledge that kind of you do a unit conversion to get the price given that it's 15.3 cents per kilowatt hour. So then that's a 1000 um, watts per one kilowatt. So now the watt units will cancel and I'll just show it. Although if you're already here, you're probably pretty good at um, unit conversion, but you never know. Um, and then that's, I'm just gonna convert it to like dollars. So it's, you know, 15 cents is, uh, you know, 0.15 dollars um, per one kilowatt and then the oh the kilowatts cancel yay and then we're just like left with dollars so when I computed that finally brought these numbers down a bit I got two fifty two dollars and seventy nine cents and then uh, the next part asks you to calculate um, what the price difference is if you have a different EER and the EER was, um, what was it, 14.6. Okay, so basically they're like, redo the calculation. If EER is 14.6, how much do you save? Um, so I'm not gonna write that out. I think it'd be kind of a waste. I'll just kind of clearly, you know, highlight that when you're doing the calculation, um, just, switch this out for this is now 14.6 um, and when I did that I got um, let's see what did I get I got 188 dollars and 73 cents 
Um, and so the difference between those two is $64 and six cents. So this is a funny sign. It looks like it could be Illuminati or something is uh, 60, <laughs> $64.03.